What's up, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you by the hand from A to Z how to set up call tracking in Google AdWords to track phone calls all the way back to the keyword which drove the phone call. Okay, and we're going to use CallRail as the uh, platform to do that. So let's get right into it. All right, so as I said in the intro, guys, today we're going to be setting up call tracking and linking that in with your AdWords account so you can track phone calls that come from AdWords directly back to which keyword sent them. And we're going to be using callrail.com as a third-party call tracking platform to do that. So I put a link for call for callrail below in the description. And below that, I'm also going to put a link to a PDF I created with all of these steps we're about to take listed out in order so you can just follow along as like a visual aid or a reference guide. And um, just so you don't get confused. And just, it'll kind of give you like a checklist of everything you have to do to set up call tracking correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is log into your Google Analytics account, or if you don't have one, like this account here, we're going to we're going to create a new account. So if, if you already have an account, just hold tight. If you need to create one, just follow along with what I'm doing here. And today we're going to be using XYZ Roofers as the campaign that we're going to be doing call tracking for. It's an example campaign that I created in one of my previous videos for the channel. <clears throat> so we're going to set this up like this. I believe the XYZ roofers in the example campaign we were doing like something like Philadelphia roofers or something like that. And accept Google's crazy policy terms. All right, so here's step number one. We're going to take the tracking code of the analytics account we just created, or if you already have an analytics account, we're going to take the tracking code. We're going to go to our landing page, which is this. It's a real quick thing. It's not even done. It's not even about roofing. I just it's an Insta page landing page that I just use for an example. So we're gonna go into our Insta page account. And if you guys don't have Insta page, um, you definitely should be using it to create landing pages for AdWords. I'll drop a link for that below in the description as well. And I believe we also have a video on setting up landing pages, so I'll put a link to that video in the description below that as well. Okay. So once you're logged into your Insta page or your landing page, whatever page you're using for the AdWords campaign, we are simply going to put the analytics code on the page. And in Insta page, it's just as simple as dropping the ID in here. We're going to save it. Saved. All right, so step one, put the analytics code on the landing page you're using in AdWords. All right. And if you're using a home page for website, make sure it's on every single page of the website, the analytics code. Next step, we're going to go under the all website data view. <clears throat> we're going to go down to goals. We're going to hit new goal, create new goal. We're going to come down here, goal setup. We're going to go to custom, continue, name your goal. So we'll just do AdWords phone calls. And then we're going to have the type, we're going to do event, continue, and then we're going to come right here to category, we're going to put phone, and we're going to save it. So we just created a goal in analytics for our AdWords. Next thing we're going to do is come down here and we're going to link that to our AdWords account. So I'm going to have to skip over this part for you guys just because we have our MCCs linked up to this. So hold tight and I'll be right back. But what you're going to do here, you're going to click this tab and it's going to pull up your AdWords account. That's, that should be linked to uh, the Gmail you're using to set up your analytics. So make sure the, that's another thing I probably should have said at the beginning. The analytics account that we're going to be using to do call tracking that we're setting up right now, it should already be associated with or linked up to your AdWords account. And if it's not, this is where you're going to do that right now. All right, so hold tight. I'm going to go link this to our AdWords account, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we just linked up our AdWord, our new analytics account to our AdWords account. If you go into the, if you click here, you should see it. You can see here we're linked into our ClicksGeek AdWords account. So that's step two here. So we got our, our goal. We got our AdWords linking. And we got our analytics hooked up onto the landing page we're using. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go into CallRail and start setting everything up. So hold tight and we'll get right over to that. Okay, so now we're logged into our call rail account. And real simple, what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to create new company. We're gonna name the company XYZ 
roofers. We're going to choose our time zone, which is Eastern. Hit next. You can add users. Obviously, for this example, we're just not. I'm not going to do that. But you can easily grab a user you already have in here, or you can create a new one. So if you want to create a new user, you can do that here. But for right now, we're just going to we're just going to focus on just setting up the call tracking so you can track calls. But I'll make it more in depth call rail tutorial soon where I, you set up a new user, you set up notifications, you can email every time someone calls you or texts or whatever. But for now, let's be simple. All right. So create tracking numbers. Going to take you into here. Create phone number. I'll use it online on my website. Track visitor activity. So pool size. We always use four. It depends on how much traffic you're sending to the landing page. Honestly, if you're sending a shitload of traffic, you need you need eight. But if you're just spending you know fifty to one hundred and fifty a day on AdWords or anything. In, in that range around there, four tracking numbers should be fine. Then you want to name your number pool. So we just say this is uh, AdWords landing page calls. So we're going to use this as calls that come directly when someone lands on a landing page or sees a landing page and just picks up the front end calls or clicks to call. Forward calls, this is where you're going to put the destination number where the calls are going to go to. I don't know what number that is, by the way, guys. I'm just making it up. So I'm not going to set that up right now. But I'll copy it for later. So then we would just go next, tracking options. Actually, you know what we should do here? So people don't see this video and then call this poor guy. We'll use our clicks keep number. All right, so now we got our destination number. We got our, our pool size is four. We got the number of the name for our pool. Tracking options. And this can be different on a few different things, okay? So if you're sending if you're setting up call tracking for AdWords and you're sending it to your main website's homepage or just your main website, you don't want to use all track all visitors for this because you want to use AdWords and it's going to give you you want to just you want to use this. There's a different way you can test that, but for now, if you're using a landing page, you want to track all visitors. So that's important. If you're setting a homepage, check AdWords. If you're just using a landing page that you're only going to be using um, AdWords. No, no traffic is going to go anywhere else to it. Use it here. Hit click all. So now it's filling the number pool. Come on. There we go. All right, so you have a couple options here. We can choose. So the number we used was our click seek number. It's a 917 area code. So we can we can have our rotating numbers or that swap in on the page to track calls either be nine one seven area code you can do toll free or you can do choose anyone you want so for this example we'll just do not we'll just keep nine one seven most people just do that now here you can put a whisper on the message so if you check this you can say call from AdWords or whatever whatever you want to do here. And then you if you gotta look in your your state's call recording laws. You might not be able to record calls without two party consent. There's a few states where you just can't record calls. I forget what they are, but you just gotta look it up. And if you can't, then uh, you don't want to re record the calls. But if you do have to, if you have to notify the person you're recording a call, this is something you check here, and it just says this before the person gets connected to you. But the whisper only you hear the whisper. Okay, so when someone calls you from AdWords. It's going to go right to your phone. It's going to say, call from AdWords. Only you hear that. <laughs> All right? The other people don't hear that. It's just you. And you can make them say it in English or French or whatever. Activate tracking number. We have a few different options here, but these are not important for right now. So we just set up our number pool. And now if you go into, if you click the number name here, this is how you can set up your call recording. It'll record all phone calls. So you hit that and come down here and go save. And then what we're going to do next is create the ad extension call tracking number. So we'll go create phone. I'll use it on mine somewhere else. Yes, an ad extension only on mobile devices. So let me say, let me just leave that actually. Google ad extension. Grab the 917. Gives you a couple options here. Let's just say it's this one. We'll grab that, whisper message, 
call from Google Ad Extension. That actually works pretty well. You can remember you can do your call recording notification if you want to. Activate tracking number. So that here's something that's important right here. Enable AdWords Mobile Click the Call integration. You definitely want to do this. So what you do is click this, opens up. You hit authorize and then you log into your AdWords account. Choose the campaign where you want to authorize and it will sync it to this. I'm just I'm gonna skip this for right now because I just logged into my MCC and there's like literally 500 accounts in there and it's it's kind of just a pain in the ass to, to have to blur all this stuff out. So yeah, just click authorize and just go through the steps it tells you to do and then link it to the account, the AdWords account that you want to track your calls on, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So if we go back. And remember, guys, we're still under our numbers here. So now we got our tracking number here. Now, <coughs> excuse me, what a lot of people don't realize with the ad extension number is this number that you're using, if you're going to use this in Google's ad extension, you're going to have to put this on the landing page too. So what we would do here is take that number, the tracking number for the only the ad extension, okay? Just that. Go into your landing page where you're using it and just drop it. We usually just drop it like right down here in the... Uh, in the footer because the number that you use in as the ad extension has to be on the landing page somewhere you can't or else your Google will disapprove it so it's really important that you have that call extension number somewhere we usually like I said we just drop it right down here in the footer just easy to do it that way all right so let's go back over so now we got our our uh, number pool here and our ad extension number. The next thing we're gonna do is go into settings and we're gonna sync it to our analytics. So what you do here, real easy. If you have your analytics set up on the page, you would just come in here, drop the URL, create. There we go, that's linked up. Then your AdWords, you come in here. And it's the same thing as, the, as before with the enable click the call. You hit authorize, you log into your AdWords account or MCC or whatever it is, and you just choose the, the uh, account that you want to link the call tracking to, and, th and then you hit authorize, and it'll, it'll authorize uh, call routes to do that integration. Really, really simple. So where am I going here? Okay, so then let's say we did that. We did that. And this is very important, dynamic, dy bleh, dynamic number insertion. So you're going to copy this text here. And this text has to go on every single page that you want call route to be tracking. All right. So for us, it's only this one page. So we're going to go into our Insta page builder and we're going to drop it in the body tag, which is where it needs to go. All right. Then we're going to hit update. Now, what else is important to understand for the number swapping? The destination number is what you're telling call rail that needs to be swapped so it's only going to swap numbers that are this on the landing page so if you if you're this is your destination number on the landing page that has to be your destination that has to be the number on the landing page or else call rail won't swap it Here, watch I'll show you so this is the destination remember I don't think it would have went live yet but let's try see it just see it swap it's quick <laughs> but yeah so that's swap so now if someone clicks this number or calls it it's gonna track back into our call rail and that's how the call swapping works so if, as far as the setup for that that's it okay that's how you set up the call tracking now there's a few things you have to do in the actual AdWords campaign to set up all the back-end linking here so I want you to hold tight and I'm gonna log into that and I'll be right back all right so you should be logged back into your AdWords account here we just set up all the analytics. We set up the call tracking and call callrail.com. So now come into your AdWords, AdWords account, go to campaign, look at the campaign level under search campaigns. Come up here. I'm sorry, come over here to settings. Come over here to account settings, tracking template, and we're going to paste this in and write this down. And also it'll be in the PDF below the video. All right, so this is the tracking template that's going to show the keyword that drove the phone call in CallRail. Save. Auto tagging, yes. So that's set up. Next, we're gonna go into our campaign. Where is XYZ refers? There it is.
and we're going to go into conversions. I'm sorry. First things first, we're going to go to analytics. We got to link up our uh, our uh, Google Analytics account. So linked accounts, go into Google Analytics. And you can see here, remember, this is the new roofer, can't, roofer analyst account we just created. One view, just make sure. So that's on, import site metrics, make sure that's on. Very, very, very important, okay? Click toggle that over, save, perfect. Now let's go back and come up here to conversions. And we should be able to import Should be able to import our uh, our goal over from analytics. Give me one second here. All right, so we set up Google Analytics. We set up the CallRail account in call in CallRail.com, and now what you're going to have to do is to tie this up into a nice neat bow. Log back into your AdWords account. So we're in the XYZ Roofers campaign. Go to search campaigns so you can see all your campaigns. Kind of like overview type deal or whatever. And what we're going to do is come down to settings. We're going to go up here, go into account settings. You're going to update <coughs> the tracking template with what I have here. All right, and don't worry if you can't, if you can't remember this or whatever. You either write it down or it'll be in the PDF that I'm putting below this video. So you'll be able to see that. So this is very important. This is how CallRail is going to pull which keyword is sending your calls. So you drop that right in here. Hit save. Another important feature here, auto tagging. This must be clicked or checked. Okay. Make sure that's on. Hit save. Next thing we're going to do is link up analytics. So we're going to go to linked accounts, Google Analytics, details, come down here, XYZ roofers. And make sure that these are both toggled over, okay? Import site metrics and link. They are, so we're good. Hit save. Next thing's next. We're going to go over to here. Come up here to the little wrench icon. Go into conversions. All right, so we need to find our, our goal we created for the XYZ analytics account. So how we do that, make sure you're on conversion actions tab here. Hit the plus sign. Click import. Google Analytics, continue, and this is pulling a ton of different things from a lot of different clients and stuff, but that's fine. So what we're going to do here is check the one we wanted to create here, which is AdWords phone calls XYZ, and we're going to go down, hit import and continue, and we're done. And that's it. And within about two, three hours, you should be seeing, assuming your campaign is running, you should be seeing your your uh, calls coming in as conversions and th that's really it guys I mean it's pretty powerful stuff I know it can be a little confusing and I'm kind of jumping all over the place just only because I know it's like the back of my hand so it's hard for me to, <laughs> to slow it down but I'm going to slow it down for you trust me in the future videos I'll try my best but below like I said below in the description I'm going to put a guide which is just all of these steps we just did in order of which to do them because you can use it as a reference like a reference sheet so make sure you check that out. Other than that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up. If you have questions about anything we went through in this video, drop them in the comments below. I'll definitely love to help you out. Other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, I'll see you in the Facebook group. There's a link for that below in the description too. So hopefully I, I'll catch you in there. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.